Well, good morning. God bless you. My name is Jesse. This is the Wednesday morning devotional. Let's open up in prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for the words that you have for each one watching this video. And Lord, I pray that each person would be encouraged, be lifted up. Father, they would cast their eyes to you and that that would make all the difference. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, I named this devotional, My Light and My Salvation, and I took this from Psalm 27, and I want to read just the first six verses of this Psalm of David, and it, and it goes like this, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing have I asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple." for he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. And I love this psalm. And in it, David is, is speaking about his love for the Lord and how he loves to gaze upon the face of God, to meditate or to inquire in his temple. But I love the context of, of how he's, he's speaking because he's saying, when war rises against me, yet I will be confident. In the day of trouble, I'll be confident. I'll know God's going to take care of me. And so, so often in our life, we can come across adversity or trouble, or calamity, or, or difficult times. And it's in those times that we need to realize who God is to us. And often we can spend some time, if we're not careful, asking the why question. You know, God, why is this happening? God, where are you? Or why did you allow this thing to happen? And the truth is, when trouble comes, when strife comes, that's when God is with you. And instead of, of looking at it and saying, God, why is this circumstance come up? We need to be confident that God is going to be with us through the circumstance, through the war, through the time of trouble, how he's going to lift us up upon a rock. And, that, and to be confident in that rather than looking at the circumstance and allow that to shake our faith or our foundation. And, and see, David is talking about his love, his relationship with God, and it's a love relationship that he has with the Lord, how much he loves the Lord, how much he loves to meditate upon his word, to gaze upon his, his beauty. And so it's in the time of our personal devotion to God, in our time one-on-one -on -one with God in the secret place of the Lord, that we grow in faith. And we can grow in confidence no matter the circumstance that arises. And we come to an understanding of who God is to us in our relationship with him and his relationship with us. Even more so now that Jesus has come. Even more so now that he's with us, that he's for us, and that those who, are, who have given their lives to him, those that have been washed in the blood of Jesus, have a right relationship with God the Father. And so are in his good grace, are in his blessing, as we walk according to his will, and as we walk the walk of faith. And then we can understand that, it's, that those circumstances come, those storms come, though wars break out, though we ha can have conflict, that God is with us in the midst of that, and that he's going to rise us as we follow him, as we inquire in his temple as we meditate on him as we continue our devotion he's going to bring us to a better place he's going to give us the word he's going to give us the knowledge to navigate through the situation and he's going to exalt us through that 
And sometimes that doesn't mean that we're perfect, that we don't ever make a mistake, but it, what it means is that God is for us. And if God is for us, who can be against us? And so it's so important that we realize that God is, and even more so through Jesus Christ, God is our light and our salvation. Not that God makes everything smooth and easy and nothing bad ever happens, but that we have the maturity to see that God is our light in the midst of darkness. He's our salvation in the day of trouble. In the day of trouble. And so whatever you're dealing with this morning, whatever you're dealing with this week, whatever situations may have arisen, whatever you're walking through, know that as you've given your life to Jesus and as you meditate on his word, you'll, you'll have the confidence to know that he's with you, that he loves you, and that just as he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross to save you and me for our sins and wash us white as snow to make us in right relationship with him, just as he did that, he surely will be with you to walk you through the situation at hand to bring you comfort and peace in the time of sorrow or distress, to give you wisdom in the time of conflict. And, and as you look at him, you can have faith for victory in, a, in the battle, in the time of battle. And so we always, we look to God as our light and our salvation. And the closer we are, in the secret place, the more time we spend in the secret place, the more time we spend in meditation on his word, the more time we spend, we spend singing for joy and making melody in our heart, the more we realize and our confidence grows to, to know that God is with us in all circumstances and that he's bringing us to a better place and he's going to exalt us upon a rock. And it also, the more you know him, the more you love him, the more you taste, the more you see of God's goodness. And so let that guide you this morning, that as you press into him, as you spend your time in your devotional worshiping him, thanking him, realizing your relationship with him and how just how good he is, may it stir faith for whatever you're going through and whatever your season you're in, that God is with you and that he truly is your light and your salvation. Amen. Dear Lord, I thank you for everyone watching this video. Lord, I pray that you would touch them in a mighty and a powerful way, that you would calm every fear in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of soundness of mind, and, and that we can be at peace in what, no matter the circumstance. And I thank you, Lord, that as we look to you and as we press into to who you are and as we meditate upon your word, and, and seek your face and seek your presence, that you exalt us, that you carry us through whatever circumstance, that you bring us a victory. And I thank you, Lord, for that. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you at Alabaster House. Is I